SCP-028, safe. No special means are needed to contain at this time, as SCP-28 has not shown any change in size, position, or shape during the entire period of its containment, but access must be restricted. Currently, SCP-28 is contained on site, site redacted, as SCP-28 is not transportable by any known means. SCP-28 is sealed in a 6x6x3 six by six by meter concrete room with a single door, with two armed personnel stationed outside. Only authorized personnel are to be allowed exposure to SCP-28, and extreme care must be taken at all times. While SCP-28 is itself harmless, the effect can be very damaging to the unprepared. SCP-28 is a location in an abandoned storage yard outside a copper mine in northern Michigan. SCP-28 has no detectable physical presence of any kind, but its effect occurs in a 2.1 meter cube around what is commonly held as the center of SCP-28. All forms of scanning and testing in the area of SCP-28 have shown no abnormal readings. Adding or removing objects, or attempting to remove dirt from under SCP-28 has no effect on altering the size or shape of SCP-28's area of effect, nor the onset or quality of the effect. Subjects entering SCP-28 are, within 3-6 to six seconds, struck by total and complete knowledge of a subject. This knowledge is thus far completely random in both size and usefulness and sometimes goes unnoticed for extended periods of time. More profound knowledge generally has a stronger effect, with some cases data expunged. This effect can be experienced multiple times by exiting and re-entering SCP-28, but can result in increasingly strong migraines and dizziness after two exposures. SCP-28 came to the Foundation's attention after research into news reports of a local miner who submitted a design for a cold fusion reactor to the U.S. Patent Office. Mr. <laughs> reported that it, quote, just came to me like a bolt out of the blue. News and subjects were suppressed and contained after discovery of SCP-28, and the reactor designs implemented in the containment of SCP-1995. Subsequent testing of SCP-28 has yielded mixed results. Document EL-28-1114 Partial Information Retrieval Log for Testing on 1st of May <laughs> Note, all knowledge is perfect, total, and eidetic. Every phone book entry for New York City in 1998 how to redesign the internal combustion engine to run on human blood, using only pre-existing parts. Note, full redesign takes four hours and runs at higher efficiency than gasoline. Location of keys for a Buick LeSabre. Proper method of care for a mole rat colony. Origin and history of 12 SCP objects. Note, the main data expunged. Family history of the Blackthorn family, located in London, England. Geological structure of the Earth beneath Greenland, including several unknown caves and data expunged. Document EL 28 1125. Log E 112. Subject D 1182. Exposed to SCP 28. Subject began to cry and went into fetal position showing signs of high distress. Unresponsive to questioning and outside stimulus for several days. Lapsed into catatonia shortly after stating that, quote, this is not life. Subject passed into a coma and died shortly thereafter. Cause of death was attributed to shock. E-127. Agent <laughs> accidentally exposed to SCP-28. Agent showed signs of sudden surprise and bemusement. When questioned, Agent requested a, quote, moment to gather my thoughts, please. After several seconds, Agent laughed, shook his head, and removed his service pistol from its holster. Agent then shot and wounded Dr. <laughs> and killed Agents <laughs> and <laughs> before being restrained. Post-incident interrogation revealed Agent 
had extensive knowledge of classified Foundation activities and several SCP objects he had not been previously exposed to, including SCP-2669. Any Foundation personnel found to have entered SCP-28's area of effect are to be detained indefinitely. Document EL-28-1128 Log Experiment 189 Subject D-9843 was exposed to SCP-28. Document EL-28-1128 Log Experiment 189 March 19th, 1146 hours. Subject D-9843 was exposed to SCP-28. March 19th, 1336 hours. Examination of subject reveals abnormal respiratory action. March 19th, 1721 hours. Questioning reveals subject has learned to recycle the carbon dioxide inside his body. March 24th, 1211 hours. Repeated attempts to teach skill to other D-Class personnel fail. July 18th, 1503 hours. Subject terminated. July 18th, 1836 hours. Autopsy reveals no abnormal organ functions. Research notes. Dr. Seriously, how the hell did he do that? <laughs>